Good Saturday morning. Happy Saturday. I'm going to wait patiently for a minute or two for a couple people to join. I woke up this morning at 7.30, which means I got some sleep and it felt like a million dollars. I let myself sleep in some on Saturday and Sunday good for me <laughs> it's good for my brain <laughs> oh goodness all right I got some people joining so I'm probably the only person on the planet probably not because they sell a lot but I'm probably one of the few people that really loves a crappy <laughs> gas station burrito <laughs> like really likes them before my THM journey this time around, if I had the opportunity to go out on a weekend and shop or whatever, the first thing I would do, it was either McDonald's, which I did McDonald's a lot, a lot, like a lot, like an, I was about to say like an unhealthy lot, but I'm not sure there is any healthy version but I went to McDonald's a whole crap time let me just say that but quite frequently I would on the weekend if I was going to town I would stop at the local gas station <laughs> and get one of their burritos that had been sitting under the heat lamp for a couple of hours <laughs> I realize as I say this just how nasty I probably am but it was you guys know what I'm talking about? The pizza holders at the gas station that rotate with the pizza, the old looking pizza, sometimes the fresh, sometimes the old, you never know. It's, it's total roulette what you're gonna get. But it rotates around and sometimes they stick breakfast sandwiches and breakfast burritos in there. Well, there's this one gas station that made these breakfast burritos and I would eat them frequently and I would get two, but they were little. Not that that matters, they were still junk. And I loved them. And then I would go down the road to the Bucks and get me, or the Dunkin', it was usually the Dunkin', but I would get me a high fat, fruity drink, like a vanilla bean culotta or something like the pink drink that Starbucks has right now. So, I woke up this morning and I was like, I could use a crappy bra, crap bit. I could use an interpreter. I could use a crappy gas station burrito. So I thought, why not? I'll just make one. It won't be crappy, but it will be gas station-like. <laughs> no offense to the person at the gas station making the burritos. It's not the um, burrito construction that's crappy. It's the ingredients. <laughs> it's not your fault. You're a good burrito maker, Mr. Gas Station Man. I liked your burritos very much. However, they're not good for me. So, I'm also going to make, so I'm gonna make that on my low carb mission, carb balance, whole wheat, gigantor wraps. And I'm gonna air fry it to get it all gooey and yummy and good. And, um, I'm going to make a Starbucks copycat pink drink that I found on Joy Filled Eats. I will link the recipe uh, to her blog. To I wrote it down on my whiteboard. I scribbled it down and I'm going to make it. The only difference between mine and hers is hers has raspberry zinger tea and I ran out. So I'm going to make passion fruit instead. So first thing I'm going to do, somebody needs to say hi because I see a lot of people joining but I don't know that anybody can hear me. I have to assume that there's 150 people watching. At least one of you can hear me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna brew up my one thing of passion fruit. You can use raspberry zinger or strawberry tea or whatever fruity tea you have that you wanna do this with. It's probably gonna be best with raspberry, but it's also gonna be good with mango. I mean a mango, passion fruit, because that's what I have. All right, so I'm gonna brew up my cup of tea, my little brewer. I'm gonna take my thing out so I don't get coffee all over my face. 
coffee flavored raspberry tea. I'm not even having raspberry. Coffee flavored peppermint tea. Okay. Because I think that's got to be cool. All right, so now I'll make my burrito while that's a brewing. So all I'm going to do is stupid. It's not even like you don't need instructions for this. But we're together, so why not? All right, and hopefully I won't catch my little thing on fire. I can't see anyone's comments, just so you know. So if you're there, <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right, now I saw a comment. I don't know, I have to like touch some stuff, even though I put it right back down in the same spot. All right. So yeah, somebody said my face is getting slimmer. Guess what? You know how all week um, I have been complaining that I was up two and three pounds all week. I was like, I don't know why I'm up three pounds. I think it's inflammation. Well, girl, not only was it down three pounds this morning, I was down another pound. So it comes off. You just gotta be patient and wait it out. Okay, so. Let me get me an egg. Actually, I think I need two eggs. And it's a good thing I only have two eggs left. I, I mean, so my plan this morning was to make um, upside down pineapple pancakes. But last night, after work, we were gonna go to the commissary after work. And I got done work and was like, there is absolutely no way in all of this earth that I can go grocery shopping tonight. I'm too tired. I almost cried myself to sleep last night. I was so overtired. I was just tired. It's been a busy week. I'm getting, you know, I've, I've been getting up a half an hour earlier than I was. So I'm up to 5.15 in the morning and it's wearing me out even though I love it and I'll get used to it and it will stop wearing me out. But I was tired. So I decided I didn't even eat supper last night. That's how tired I was. My, I ate, I had a yuck yum for lunch and that kefir did yuck to my yum. It did not at all. It did not at all hold me out. Not at all. So my stomach was wrecked big time. What is that? Something in my butter. That doesn't belong there. I don't know. Golden Retriever. That's all right. I ain't the only one that gets dog hair in my butter. <laughs> Everybody's like, she's fun to watch, but I'm never cooking, eating at her house. <laughs> oh, Cindy, I was going to make, um, I was going to make upside down pineapple pancakes, but I didn't have the ingredients because I didn't shop last night, so I'm going to make those tomorrow. Um, I am making a crappy gas station breakfast burrito and a Starbucks pink drink. Somebody asked why I'm putting water in my eggs. So if you scramble your eggs in a bowl and then you add just a teaspoon or maybe like a table, if it's two eggs, a tablespoon of water and scramble it up, world's fluffiest eggs. You don't need no cream or milk or nothing. You just need water. Water is what makes eggs fluffy. Trust me on this one. Trust me, girls. It's the truth. I would not speak the lies. All right, I'm just gonna scramble up my little eggs. Now, to really make them gas station-like, you gotta stir them a lot because gas station eggs are kind of watery and cruddy. They're not, it's because they're used boxed eggs and I would have used boxed eggs if I'd had any because I like boxed eggs. I need to hold on tight to my wrap. I don't want to catch on fire. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <sighs> You're pulling your pants up. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm constantly adjusting them. They're skinny jeans. I do not wear skinny jeans ever. I'm not a skinny jeans kind of a girl. But I bought these because they were a size 16 and I had been wearing a size 22 and they were on sale and I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy them and see. And my husband absolutely loves them. And my husband never, ever comments on my clothes. Never. So if my husband does comment on my clothes, I wear them. 
because he's just not, not, uh, he's just not one to say, oh yeah, it looks nice. It's just not him. I don't know. He's just never been like that. But if he does, then, all right. So see, I stirred those the whole time. See how fluffy those are? Look at those fluffy eggs. Look at them. Fluff. And now they're all over my stove. That's all right. Fluffy eggs. That's how you make fluffy eggs. You stir them the whole time with water. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. All right. Somebody wants to see my pants. These are my skinny jeans. Anywho, <laughs> that's something you didn't want to wake up to. <laughs> you like your eggs flat and burnt? Bull. Thanks, Shelly. I, I, it's getting long enough that I can, I can pull it up a little bit so it kind of looks like a little updo, even though it's short. It's getting there. All right. There's my burrito. Michelle. I'm gonna wrap it in tin foil. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> you know, saying you look good is one thing, but when somebody says you look fine, you look fine. I know she didn't mean you look fine. She meant you look fine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this in a bowl because that's how I wanna do it. Because I, I don't wanna be standing over next to my stove. Hey, Sebastian, I just dropped some scrambled eggs. Do you want them? Come get your eggs. Get them. All right. So the key to a good crappy gas station burrito is salsa and fake cheese. So I'm just gonna pour a little salsa in there. Yeah, baby. You guys can put real cheese if you want, but I'm putting wrapper, craft, fake cheese. Cheese, processed cheese food. I like this stuff, all right? <laughs> I don't care if you think it's gross. Put cheddar in it. This is legit what makes it gas station worthy. <laughs> All right. And I'm, yeah, I'm mashing it because if you've had a crappy gas station burrito, you know that everything is mushed into a big old mushiness, mushy. Now I could put some spinach in this. I could put some peppers. I could put some onions. But then it wouldn't be a crappy gas station burrito. It would be like a Ramsey burrito, and that's not what I'm making. I need bacon. Watch out there, B-Soys. Watch out. I could put avocado. So many things. But, again, crappy gas station burrito. Rightly, it is the best cheese for eggs. All right, yes, I'm crumbling up pre-cooked bacon into my egg mash. All right, you guys, that looks just like the filling at the gas station, I'm not kidding. Look at that. That's the way you gotta do it. Yes, Kristen, this is THM girl, or Kirsten. I pronounced it wrong. Kirsten, Kirsten, Kristen, it's one of the three. Now they would probably put another piece of cheese in that, but I'm not gonna. I'd like to, but I'm not gonna. Yes, it's totally THM. The, the, you can put regular good cheese in it, but it, it fits, it, I mean, the sisters would probably say use whole, you know, cheese made from grass-fed, organic, raised, free-range cows. But I don't do that. <laughs> I use real people cheese. <laughs> it's a craft single, Teresa. It's all. 
You can use any good cheese you want. All right. I'm gonna wrap my burrito. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it like they do at the gas station. I don't know how that is, but squishy all my stuff to the middle. I'm gonna fold in my ends. You know what? I'm gonna move all my stuff. Can you even see me? I'm gonna move all my stuff this way. I'm gonna fold in my ends and I'm gonna wrap her, wrap her good. You guys, it looks just like a crappy gas station burrito. Perfection and it's dripping salsa everywhere, which is just what it does in the gas station. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yes, Vicky, I don't wipe. I don't want to wipe my hands on my thing. Here. I need to iron it. Can you see how wrinkly it is? All right. Nope, it's not a crossover. This is an S. Whole eggs are totally an S. This carb, low carb tortilla fits into an S. As long as you get one that has six carbs or less, this one has five. It fits into an S. So, somebody says, I don't really do THM, but love watching you. Girl, you need to do THM. What is this? That's not supposed to be there. All right. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Somehow. I'm just going to wrap it up. And look at that. It looks like I went to the 7-Eleven and bought me a junk burrito. I'm going to stick it in my air fryer. All right, hold on. Let me stick it. Well, I'll turn you. So, because I know you want to see my air fryer. All right. Stick it in there. I'm gonna stick it on air crisp for about go down for about five minutes, but I'm not gonna do the preheat. That's why I'm shutting off the preheat. There we go. Five minutes on my air fryer. I forgot to put jalapenos in. I wanted jalapenos. Oh well. Uh, it's okay. So the way I made my eggs fluffy, Susan, is I put a little bit of water. And I scrambled them up in a bowl and put a little bit of water, like a tablespoon of water. This piece of hair is driving me absolutely batty. I gotta fix it. Um, put in a little bit of water and it will make them fluffy. And then when you're frying them, you just stir it the whole time and they will get fluffy, fluffy, and they'll cook in like a second and a half. How did I come up with this recipe? I woke up this morning and thought, I wish I could go to the gas station and get a crappy burrito. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm 100% promising you that's how I decided what I was going to make this morning was I woke up wanting a junk burrito from the gas station down the road. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kristen, you can totally cook outside of the cookbooks. I do it all the time. When, after you do this a while, you'll get into the, you'll start to, you'll just start to know you can look at anything and you'll be like, oh, that's on plan. And I know it's an S or I know it's an E. You'll get there, girl. You'll get there, girl. Connie, I have a Ninja six in one extra large grill. Ninja grill, foodie grill. It's awesome. Oh. Uh, I have the THM book, but I don't know how to under, I don't understand it, how to start and do it. Christy, I'm going to tell you right now, the best thing you can do is stay on this page. If you watch the posts on this page, you will learn this plant and ask questions. The more you ask, the quicker you, the uh, just ask, 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 and you will quickly learn this plan. I'm telling you, just jump in, cut out the sugar, cut out the white flour, and then go from there. That's the very first step. Oh, Michelle, that's awesome. I took a two-year break. You put water and this piece of hair. Yes. <laughs> Don't put hair in your crappy burrito. Sour cream in your eggs. I've had them that way. Gordon Ramsay puts creme fraiche in the end of his eggs when he makes them, which is similar to sour cream, but I just do. Yeah. Um, Kirsten, maybe I should make some ingredient cheat sheets. Go on Pinterest, girl. Type in THM cheap cheat sheets. You will find them. They are everywhere. 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 So, all right. I'm going to start working on my Starbucks pink drink. I have never had the pink drink from Starbucks. I think it's probably a newer thing. I don't really know. But... I know that I love the fruity drinks from 
any gas station, not gas station, any coffee shop. I love um, Dunkin' Donuts vanilla culotta. I love their fruit culottas. I love, so I know that I'm going to like this. Bonnie, go make one. Easy peasy. All right. So it says I need, you know what? It told me I needed hibiscus and raspberry tea, but it didn't tell me how to brew it. I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pour my tea in here and go with it. It's still hot, but that's okay. It won't be for long. So I have one hibiscus and one passion fruit tea. You like my blender, my Brenda the blender. Oh, you're welcome, Carolyn. The super swing is so good. I love, oh, and I'm so, I'm out of spinach. I'm now I'm out of eggs. I'm out of everything. I am going grocery shopping this morning with my parents. They're coming down two hours and we're gonna go together and do it. So, okay. So I got my hibiscus and my raspberry tea. I need two tablespoons of gentle sweet. And I do not know why I'm all the way on this side of my kitchen. I need to come back over here where I belong, where I can reach things. All right. I'm gonna lose my earring. Oh, they've got backs on them. They like to make their way out. It's gonna, st it's gonna stay. All right, so my burrito's done. I wanna check on it real quick. I think it's good. Tis good. I just wanna make sure it felt crispy on the outside. All right, two tablespoons. Use a clean thing, I'm not. Two, I wrote it on my board. Two tablespoons of gentle sweet. Bassie, do you wanna eat the eggs out of this bowl? Here you go, baby. Feed the dog. He loves eggs. All right, two tablespoons of gentle sweet. A cup of cold water and enough ice to make it a cup and a half. So. I've got my measuring cup. This is cold, Kelly, cold. Cold water. cup of cold water and enough ice to make it <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, all right, I got a cup and it needs to be a cup and a half with ice. So I'm going to put enough ice in it. That's enough ice to make it a cup and a half. All right, and then it needs a quarter cup of coconut milk. Where did I put it? Right here. I gotta open it with my can opener. Hold your horses. Okay. Woo, baby. I've never used this stuff but it looks good. Oh, look at that. I've never used this stuff before. Good morning, sweet girl. Morning. Happy Saturday. Oh, I love what you're wearing. Why, thank you. I like what you're wearing. Those pajamas are lovely. All right, let's see. Yes, Joy Filled Eats. Somebody asked me if I'm in Tulsa. Oh, you guys are all talking to each other. All right, I'm in Maine. All right, quarter cup coconut oil. No, quarter cup coconut milk. Don't put a quarter cup coconut oil in this. That would be horrible. Quarter cup coconut milk. There's a quarter cup. Ooh. I've never used this stuff before. That's delicious. I can think of some uses for that right off the top of my head. Yum. Um, Sheila, there, I will put the link in this, but there is a fuel pull version of this that 
I think it doesn't use coconut milk, the fuel pulp version, but I wanted the S version. Can you grab me the strawberries out of the fridge, my sweet girl? Yeah. Please and thank you. I'm making a Starbucks pink drink. Oh, really? Does it have coffee in it? Nope, has no coffee. Wait, you can't have that? Don't get on camera wearing those pajamas. Nobody needs to see that. Can I at least put my hand in the camera and wave? You can put your hand in the camera and wave. Say good morning, Marin. Everybody say good morning, Marin. All right. <laughs> All right, three. Watch out, I can't see my three strawberries. So. Okay, go ahead. Uno, dos, trace, and one for the dog because he's begging for one. There you go. All right. It's cold and big and he's freaking out a little bit. Okay, a pinch of xanthan gum. I do not know if you could use Glukey, but I would imagine that you probably could use Glukey. Do my best. All right, Bonnie, go make it. I think you could make this with any fruit. If you didn't have strawberries, you could make it with a little bit of um, blueberries. Oh, Kelly, don't wipe your hands on your clean shirt on a Saturday morning. All right, I'm gonna bring it over to my blender. Don't turn that up too loud, Mayor. Okay, I'm gonna bring Brenda, Brenda the Blenda over here. Well, I'm gonna bring the thing to Brenda. Bonnie says, good morning, Marin, and thank you for putting up with your weird mom. She's like, I know, it's my given, it's my, it's my thing in life. All right, I'll show you my blender while she blends. All right, let's put her on this one. It's pretty, it's not that pink though. I was expecting like fluorescent pink. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it is fancy. It is fancy. This is my fancy friend of the blender. What? I'm just running it on the smoothie setting. You could put crappy food coloring in it if you wanted. Jerry, this is a blend tech. This is my noise reducing blend tech. Listen, I like to show people. How cool is that? <gasps> That's a good idea, Nikki. I had some freeze dried ones too. Oh, it's significantly quieter than my old one, Dima. It's ridiculously quiet compared to my old one. The little pinch of powdered ingredient was xanthan gum. My little thing of xanthan gum that I bought September 24th of 2017. <laughs> my four year old thing. I paid $5.63 and said, my goodness, that xanthan gum is expensive. It's four years old and I'm still working on it. So, all right, so she said the xanthan gum would keep it from separating, but look, it separated. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some sunflower lecithin in it and see if that will help that because that stuff does help separation. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's still gonna taste good. I know it, I'm not worried about it. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna put in some freeze dried strawberries to make it super pink, like someone just suggested because I think that's genius. All right, I'm putting like a little bit less than a quarter teaspoon of sunflower lecithin. I don't know, we'll see if it works. And I'm gonna put some of my freeze-dried strawberries. It's separated, Sherry. It definitely, I mean, it's got froth too. Like there's a third layer of, ooh, it smells amazing. All right, let's sing this up real quick. Let's just put it on high. Let's just let's just put it on high and go with it. Definitely helped. 
much better. Sunflower less than thin. It's the way to go. And there's some froth too. Whoa, look at that. Perfect. It looks pretty mighty tasty. All right. <laughs> it's warm. It needs ice. over ice is what the ingredients said. Failed to do so. Just pay attention. Do what they tell you to do and pour it over ice. Obviously it was going to be warm. I didn't put anything cold in it but four ice cubes. But it sure does. If I had it one of those Starbucks plastic cups, you know what I mean? Those reusable Starbucks cups. I wish I had one because it would totally make me feel better. Mm. That's really good. I ain't hating. I ain't hating. That is quite that coconut milk is the yum dot yum. I love that. Very good. And now I have a whole crap ton of coconut left, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I can work that into something for dessert later. It is warm. It was warm. Nobody wants a warm pink drink from Starbucks. Imagine if you went through Starbucks and said, I'll take the pink drink. And it came out warm. You'd be like, listen, Mr. Millennial, I want a cold pink drink. Take your skinny jeans back and put some ice in that. You know you would. I know. I didn't ice my tea. I put it in hot and then I'm expecting a cold drink. Yes, doll. What does it have in it? Strawberries, coconut milk, ice, and tea. Somebody said I could make a curry. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I hate curry. <laughs> oh, I forgot my burrito. I hate curry. I hate curry. I hate it. I think it is the most disgusting seasoning ever. Whoa, I can't stand it. All right. Look at this. Now, this is my crappy gas station burrito, but if I really wanted this to be crappy and gas station-like, I would leave it sitting in that air fryer for two hours and then I would eat it. But I'm hungry now, so I can't do that. What kind of tea? I used passion fruit and hibiscus. All right, you know what? See, this is what happens at the gas station. I forgot to spray my tin foil. So it's stuck badly to the foil. If you're surprised I didn't make enough for my family, Tara, this might be your first video. <laughs> my family refuses to eat anything. THM, anything. It can even be perfectly normal food that just happens to fall into THM. And if I say it's THM, oh, gross. I don't want your THM, weird THM food. All right, look at that baby. And it smells just like a crappy gas station burrito. See, she's over there. It's a gas station burrito, Miriam. Oh, it's juicy. Mm. It tastes just like a crappy gas station burrito to you guys. What? You're interrupting my excitement. What? What? The Super Bowl was last week, Dollface. All right. Yes, look at the inside of that burrito. It's slightly crispy in some of the areas from the air fryer and soggy in the other parts, which is exactly how it needs to be to be a gas station burrito. I'm not kidding. Mmm. The dog is staring at me. <laughs> you can't have any. Look. I just dropped 
grabbed a whole crap ton of milk on the counter. Okay, you get to have that dog. See, that was the Lord saying, give that dog a piece of the burrito. And he made me drop some of my egg. Does that look good? What does it have in it? It has egg and cheese and salsa and bacon. Salsa? Mm -hmm. Anywho, the oh, dog does. Don't do you want to say good morning? Come here. No offense. I mean, I'm just not a salsa. Come here. Come say good morning to the people. Oh, over here. Come here. They want to see you. Come on. Come here. There he is. <laughs> All right, you guys. No, that's all right. All right, there it is. Crappy gas station burrito. Starbucks pink drink. I'm ready for my day. I feel like I just ran to the gas station and got my junk. And I'm eating that. Mmm, that burrito is really good, you guys. He's a golden retriever, Angie. He's a mooch, is what he is. And there's a reason there's hair in all my food. It's because... I let him jump on my chest while I eat. And I wonder, why is there hair in my butter? How'd that dog get in the butter? When I cleaned out the fridge a couple weeks ago and scrubbed it down, I was like, has the dog been getting into the fridge? Has he been opening it and like pulling out a beer? There's no beer in the fridge, but pulling out a snack at night? Like why is there dog hair in my fridge? Whatever. Okay, that's it you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you all have a beautiful Saturday. I hope you stay on plan. Listen, today is the day. Today is the day where it is so easy to go through a drive through and get junk food because you're in a hurry and your husband is getting a double bacon cheeseburger and a large fry dipped in honey mustard. And you're like, oh, I really want that. Mom, but you know what? I could go for that right now. See, my daughter, I could go for that right now. I could actually offer help. <laughs> Don't do it. Today is your day. Not his day to ruin it. Today is your day. Today is the day where you are going to ignore that. And you're going to get the salad with the yummy ranch dressing. And you're going to eat it. And you're going to love it. And you're going to feel like a million dollars when you're done. And you're going to be like, I did not eat those french fries. So today is that day. I'm making quesadillas for lunch. I'm going to have my low carb tortilla more than once in a day, even though they say not to eat them too often. I'm gonna eat it twice today, but I'm not gonna eat off plan crap. So it's okay. It's okay to eat a second wrap in one day. I won't die. I won't get fat from a second wrap. It's okay. But I'm gonna stay on plan all day today. I'm gonna have yummy meals. And you can too, you have no reason to go off plan. None. And like I said yesterday, if you feel like you're gonna go off plan, you get on THM and you make a post and say, ladies, I'm about to eat some french fries. They will talk you off the ledge. They will talk you off the ledge, I promise you, okay? <laughs> Maren says, can't they make their own french fries? All right, yes, your tummy will feel better. You won't feel, you won't be running to the toilet with cramps going, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> You'll be happy that you stuck to your homemade Starbucks pink drink and your crappy gas station burrito. So, okay, I love you all. Have a beautiful Saturday and I will talk to you tomorrow, I'm sure, or probably later today because I can't leave you guys alone. So, all right, I love you. Bye.